Greetings and salutations, my name is Deltra and doing Fire Emblem Heroes with two different team builds for the 4th Yamada Kataro special map and a strategy for the 5th. And while I have a bunch of heavy hitters on this team, the strategy can be done with many different team compositions. As long as you have a horsey for that aggressive stance here in the beginning and that you can get that Takumi to go ahead and boot the uh, Hanoka out of the way. That is very, very helpful. You want to make sure you do that so you can split up the lines. Here you see me measuring up to see where Reinhardt can get and who Reinhardt can take out. For the most part, you just want to pull him down here and watch this Takumi, our friend, is going to help us out again, moving over Ryoma. Thank you so much. Look how spread out they are. This is nice and easy pickings right now. So really, there's nothing going on here. Uh, you don't need to have uh, a horsey mage to be able to take out these people you can pretty much just use uh, I prefer a blue mage so that you have the flexibility to do Ryoma easily you could do a blade tome user buffed up there's a few options here the archer doesn't have to be a Bridelia the archer could be pretty much any archer you want uh, that's the only hit right there that the uh, mage is gonna have to take and I mean Reinhardt's uh, defenses both of them are pretty terrible so obviously you could have a lot of flexibility there uh, I don't even use Ike, really, and uh, we use Canvas to bait things, and he's going to be used here to deal some damage in a moment. So when it comes down to it, this is very flexible. Some of the pattern here, of course, is, is done because of the defenses of the guys that I have, but when it comes down to it, my Ike is a glass cannon build, my Reinhardt's a glass cannon build, my Cordelia is a glass cannon build, uh, Camus isn't, he's pretty strong, but otherwise, for the most part, you could repeat this pattern with many different units, uh, so that's definitely a thing to try. So that is strategy one. Let's go ahead and give strategy two a look-see. I love this map in PvP because it's perfect for Armor Emblem, and that's what I'm doing. I'm running an Armor Emblem team here with Carissa because she's a good archer to be able to take out Noka. And she has a nice debuff, which I don't even use. So for the most part in this map, you could just have whatever archer you want. And it'll be very helpful. So you see now, they come down as a straight wall, and an Armor Emblem team can handle that. That's what happens if you don't bait correctly and make Takumi spread out the enemy for you. This is a poster child for why you don't want to have movement skills on your defensive team. So now we're taking out Hanoka. We're going to take a little bit of damage here and there. We have uh, Gwendolyn that's going to go ahead and tank uh, Ryoma coming down. And my Gwendolyn is plus 10. <laughs> so uh, she's really beefy, but honestly, any blue unit sitting on top of that patch of grass is going to do. You don't need to move. You don't need two blue units. You don't need to try to move a blue unit back and forth. You just need one blue to handle Ryoma. You don't even need to have a full armor emblem team. Uh, the green uh, Hector was just to bait Ryoma to ensure that he came straight down instead of trying to go somewhere else. And as you see right now, I'm pretty much just mopping everything up. So, I mean, when it comes down to it, the Armor Emblem team is very tough. They're very resilient. You just need one archer to be able to do this with. And aside from that, uh, please do be careful with Sakura there because if you take a couple of hits here and there because of your team composition maybe not killing everybody right away Sakura is gonna have enough damage that if you're not on the defensive tile she's gonna wipe you out otherwise that's pretty much it I don't have any more to say about that uh, armor emblem go armor emblem let's go ahead and check out the fifth special map uh, this pretty much is uh, what I like to call Lind wins <laughs> it's uh, for the most part, it's just Lin killing everything. And my Lin is not supercharged. This is a healer build, so really, any good blue mage you have will be able to substitute for this. You may be able to use a Bridelia or some other super archer, but for the most part, I mean, she's going over to take out Zephyl she, and uh, Ephraim, so if you use an archer, you're going to have to definitely have some reinforcements there. You could probably even use Staria or whatever kind of uh, red blade to amuser you have. To be able to finish this off as well. Otherwise, you see that we took out Shauna, we took out Ephraim, we baited Shauna, making sure that she comes straight across. Keep everybody split apart and make sure you bait Shauna with a blue or that blue unit with a green unit. Otherwise, you're gonna have some problems. That Shauna is actually rather strong. And this Lind is actually just very annoying, so make sure that you rearrange your guys in just the right fashion that you'll be able to take her out. Uh, even with uh, her being off of defensive tiles, she's just a pain in the rear end, guys. I, I, Lynn is such, uh, Lynn is such a strange 
creature because she can get bursts of damage. She just doesn't seem to fall too easily, even though she doesn't have a great defense. Um, she's an enigma to me. But then again, uh, here she goes. So, oh, yeah, well, actually, yeah, I'm going to finish it off with green. So, you know, that's... Am I going to finish off with green? No, okay, sorry. I forgot what I did. <laughs> anyway, that is that. And hey, if you could do me a favor, rotate your phone back into portrait mode or exit full screen mode and hit that like button if I give you something to chew on. If you're behind on your hero's goodness tap or click on the left to get caught up. And if you want your info hot and fresh like grandma's cookies, hit that subscribe button. My name is Dale Tran. Thank you guys so much. I greatly appreciate all of you. And until next time, take it easy.